Good evening. How are y'all doing this evening? You're looking good. You're looking good from here, I must say. Ah, oh, and now I can't see you. But I knew you were looking good. Welcome this evening to Western Stories and Western Swing. My name is Debbie Fant. I'm your host, and it's just such a pleasure to be here at the 29th Annual National Cowboy Poetry Gathering. Did y'all have a good time? You're going to have an even better time this evening. So Western Stories and Western Swing is sponsored by Nevada Energy. Let's give them a big hand. Before we get going, I'd like you all to please turn off your cell phones. Okay, thank you very much. So Cowboy Celtic, we have a great lineup this evening. We've got Cowboy Celtic, we've got Gary McMahon, we've got the Saddle Cats. It's just going to be a really wonderful, wonderful musical, storified evening, I think. So Cowboy Celtic is now in their 18th year. They come from Canada. They have a deep connection to the Western songs and ballads of the British Isles, and they continue this connection. They play the songs, the heritage songs, but they also travel back and forth to reconnect and re-solidify that heritage. And um, just as little tidbits, I try to ask each of the bands what they were doing last week, because I know you can read about them in the program guide. So just for your edification, wanted you to know that Carrie Lynn Zwicker was playing last week with uh, the symphony in Edmonton, uh, second, uh, <laughs> second harm. And uh, Joe, who is a stonemason, was building a fireplace uh, in um, Montana, with stone from Montana. Uh, and that's just a little bit of the extracurricular activities from the extraordinary Cowboy Celtic. Please give him a hand. Very good. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
Thank you, everybody. Well, the last show of the gathering, and here we are. We're sure glad you could come out, and uh, we've got some good stuff planned for you. The Saddle Cats, Gary McMahon. This next one is a, is a, 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 a poem that Paul Zorziski wrote, and, um, and I put the music to it. And it's about, um, it's about this bar in, in uh, Billings, Montana, called Pug Mahone's. And uh, Paul was in there um, after one of his shows, feeling kind of depressed, as most cowboy poets are most of the time. And, uh, and uh, he was feeling kind of low, and there was a woman there by, behind the bar, this beautiful red-haired uh, gal, and, and she looked at him and said, Cowboy, I know what you need. You need a black and tan, which it, you know, Irish people know. It's half a Guinness and half a harp lager. And Paul, he went nuts over that. He sipped that, and, and, um, she said, and then she said some magic words to him that triggered this, this next song. And Carrie, only you can say what those words are. The Guinness caresses the harp as you sip it. Yow. Oh Paul boy. said he was melting. So this is a song, Black Upon Tan, uh, about love and lust in the neon glow of Billions, Montana. And we put an Irish tune at the end uh, to make it all fit together. Jackie Coleman's Jackie real. Coleman's real. As she poured him a wee drama tallum or two, he looked uninspired, and that's how she knew. He's adrift, and he's bitter on riptides of hate. On a sea, it's when an angel sails in, the devil he runs. Three cheers for the motherland, daughters and sons. The green neon shamrock's wings taken flight She taught him how darkness embraces the light The Guinness caresses the harp as you sip it Forgiveness it blesses the heart if you let it When truth meets with beauty, dawn graces the land The night is a woman, the day is the man The Guinness caresses the harp as you sip it Forgiveness it blesses the heart if you let it Spoke as she floated the black upon town. The night is a woman, the day is a man. on the fiddle. 
Thank you. We're going to do something new for you that we haven't uh, done a lot of, and this is, uh, this is a song written by a friend of ours, John Ward Hannum. He's from up in uh, Alberta way. And it's about, a, about immigration uh, from uh, um, Scotland to Canada. There's a place in Canada that's similar to Ellis Island that you have here in the United States called Pier 21. And that's where all the immigrants from uh, Scotland and England come to be processed to come into Canada. So this is a song about a father saying goodbye to his son who's coming over, over to Canada. It's called Go Laddie Go or Pier 21. Find your dreams over on 
here to Go, laddie, go. Go, laddie, go. But don't you ever forget where you're from. He said, go, laddie, go. Go, laddie, go. Find your dreams over on Pier 21. Go, laddie, go. Go, laddie, go. But don't you ever forget where you're from. To go study with him personally. So this is one of his compositions. It's called Milonga para Amar. And uh, Milonga is very much like a tango. It's um, a, dance from, uh, a dance from Argentina. So if anybody knows how to do the Milonga, please dance. <laughs> so this is neither cowboy nor Celtic. <laughs> Carrie Lynn, Carrie Lynn. She's got a great CD called Rich and Rare with that song on it. Yes, it's this just, song is recorded. <laughs> it's a fantastic album and a fantastic song. Okay, this is a song. We don't have much time here, so we have to move along. You're not going to get a lot of my humorous banter that you usually would get. I have to cut it, I have to cut it all short. So just pretend scintillating you humor. This is a song called uh, Black Diamond about a, 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 a Confederate soldier coming back from the Civil War with his horse Black Diamond. There's a 
lone rebel soldier in the saddle And his bay needs a good long rest The war is now over for this Ballinger Dover So he keeps him pointed straight to the west He left his wife and his ranch four years ago And the son that he wouldn't know as his pony leads on through the blistering sun, he sings a song to his tired coat. Don't stop, Black Diamond, till we reach the Colorado. Home is just around the bend. Get us to the river, and I promise I'll deliver. You'll never feel the saddle again. Closes his eyes as the campfire dies Diamonds off his feet tonight He can see Mary Ann reaching for his hand Same dreamy dreams every night He's got coffee boiling just before dawn Night rain soak them down to the core Diamonds at his side for another day's ride With some luck, it'll be just one more Don't stop, Black Diamond, till we reach the Colorado Home is just around the bend Get us to the river and I promise I'll deliver You'll never feel the saddle again As they come to Horse Creek, they're close to home He kneels down to wash the war from his face But down on his knees, terror rips through the trees Comanche on their paints giving chase He rides low on his mount as he turns to fire One warrior falls away from his ride Diamond raced on ahead, leaving a ribbon of red From the arrow digging deep in his side But don't stop, Black Diamond, till we reach the Colorado Home is just around the bend Get us to the river, and I promise I'll deliver You'll never feel the saddle again Soldier stands proud at the river But his pony lies still by his side Didn't seem in much pain But still the end came The soldier falls on him and cries He carries his saddle as he walks from the grave Kept his promise as he laid him to rest The war is now Drover and diamonds headed straight for the west. You can stop, Black Diamond. We have reached the Colorado. Home is just around the bend. You brought me to the river, and I promise I'll deliver. You'll never feel the saddle again. You'll never feel the saddle again. Feel the saddle again. Yeah. Okay. We got time for one more. Here we go.
of the show. Thank you very much. We'll see you again. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Cowboy Celtic. So it's just talking to one of the performers backstage and introducing myself as the host and some one came backstage with an artist tag and said, yeah, host, you know, you got caught on the word second with Carrie Lynn's Wicker. And I said, no, no, you know, I mean, second harpist is a pretty great accomplishment with the Edmonton Symphony. I just had a senior moment and I couldn't remember the word for harp. It was, <laughs> but, so the next one, the next person we have up, extraordinary entertainer, Gary McMahon. Um, so as you've read in your book, for the past 40 years, he's made his living a horseback. He's uh, made his living with a guitar. Um, he is known for his jokes, for his poetry, for his musicianship, for his yodeling. But you probably want to know a little bit that you don't know about Gary. So I was asking him backstage, what's been happening with you, Gary? And he said, well, you know, I have my son, Will, who has spent the last couple of years in South Africa with the Peace Corps, working uh, in an AIDS orphanage. And he said, and the biggest thing that's happened to me so far is that uh, Christmas, um, we, were we were had a family Christmas and we we're gonna open presents and, and they said, but wait now, Gary, can we have another present for you? Come on down to the barn. And, and so Gary went down to the barn. There's this great big package wrapped up. And out of it jumped Will, back from South Africa. Surprise, surprise. And I said, whoa, pretty great. Pretty great that you raised a son like that. And it sounds like he, maybe a little bit of the showmanship has rubbed off on him. I said, yeah, I think so. So Gary McMahon. Now he's making his living. He says he's getting by on a, a song and a joke, and he's getting by pretty well. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to Gary McMahon. and I guess we were happy for over three weeks. <laughs> and then she dumped me and I wrote her this song. I always thought it was a pretty good song. I figured Kenny Chesney or Garth Brooks or one of them guys would have, uh, do this song. Are you all ready, Joaquin? Ready. Uh, would do this song and she'd hear it coming out of some lonesome jukebox someplace and uh, it would rip her little heart out. Anyway, it's a Colorado Cowboy love song. It goes like this. It was out west of Denver near the Great Divide Along the side of the road Hitching a ride was a pretty little girl by the name of Dina Rose. Dina Rose. Dina Rose. Yeah, I said, whoa, when I seen Dina Rose. I was a cowboy all boogered and bent. She was strong medicine, a heaven sent, and together we shared the mountains, rivers, and miles. Mountains and miles, rivers and smiles. You Hard brown belly and a 
California air And I guess I fell in love Right around Steamboat Spring Steamboat Springs Steamboat Springs Yes, I must have fell in love Right around Steamboat Spring Now when a feller falls in love A feller does his best And old Mother Nature takes care of the rest The night time found me next to Dean Arrow Dean Arrow find ourselves in a room full of people we didn't know so we until it was our time to go on we just sat over in the corner and talk and that's where I met Dick and his wife Viv and, and uh, he uh, had come to the cowboy poetry gathering out here several times you know and so we became pretty good friends and they had a poetry gathering in his honor in uh, Colorado Springs called the Great Pikes Peak Cowboy Poetry Gathering and and uh, I was featured on that gathering one year, and Dick asked me if I'd stay at his house during the gathering. So uh, I agreed to that. And uh, I had a show in Denver to do, and then I went down to his house. So I got there about 2 o'clock in the morning. And I didn't know it, but Dick's daughter, uh, Candace, had been fo uh, going with him to some of these cowboy poetry gatherings, and she kind of had a little crush on me. And... Uh, so I got there about two in the morning and, and she's in her tight jeans baking cookies. <laughs> I said, my, do you usually uh, bake cookies at two in the morning? She said, oh yes. Oh, yes. Uh, well, Candace later became my wife. <laughs> and I'm just here to tell you, uh, you see, the name is derived from the Spanish word chaparejos, which in turn gets its name from the word chaparral, which again in Spanish means a dense thicket of thorny brush and trees, which all manner of cowboys have ridden through for centuries. Thus, needing protection for their legs, these chaparejos were fashioned from cowhide and are the leather leggings cowboys wear that come without the backside. Then us gringos got a hold of the word and shortened chaparajos to chaps. Much the same way we took the word tapadero and condensed it to taps. So the CH sound is really pronounced with an SH sound, you see, and to an old cowboy that's worn chaps all his life, it seems a travesty that you would use the cowboy's manly image to sell your fancy spell to the herd and never even take the time to learn how to say the word. Because the truth is, Mr. Lauren, even though I'd like to console you, anyone who says chaps for chaps don't know chit from China. <laughs> Well, it's the old double diamond go, and won't you listen to the wind, Mother Nature's violin? When I first hired on the old double diamond. I was a damn poor excuse for a man Never learned how to aim when my spirit was tame Couldn't see all the cards in my hand And the wind whipped the granite above me Blew the tumbleweeds clean through my soul Fought her winners, busted her horses. You know, it took more than I thought I could stand. 
But the battles with the mountains and can got a new range to find and new knots to tie in a country where cowboys are kings. I turn my tail to the wind and the old double diamond disappeared into the sage. I uh, did this song on a show here on this very stage um, one time. Uh, you know, I, I know you folks are from all over the place, but I know we have a lot of accomplished people here tonight. And accomplished people will usually be the first ones to tell you that they've had a teacher or a mentor, or as they say in California, a guru, if you will. <laughs> And my yodeling guru's name was Maharishi Mahatma Yodelin Slim. <laughs> Come from up Alberta way. His real name was Wilf Carter. He's a yodeling man from Mohamon land. Started singing in the mountains to the cattle just to settle them down where the echo was perfect. And there weren't no soul around So he tried just about anything And that's how the cowboy learned to sing happy as make minds up to be and old slim figured that out found him a way to beat the grief yeah he'd say boys now you just can't frown singing your and he'll just drive you crazy when he sang my little swish you leave Feels so good. I think I'll try another one. Only this time we'll cowboy it up here a little bit. You ready, Ernie? Ain't much you can do with the yodel, but put the spurs to it. And if this yodel don't light your fire, I'd like to respectfully suggest that perhaps your wood is wet. And to make matters a little bit more interesting, I'm going to do it in Spanish. Oh no. no, that lit him up. There we go. <laughs> but this is how it should have gone. Old Beer Can Bob from Butte, Montana Got breath like a buzzard and a beard like Sam Got a grin like a grill on an Oldsmobile One of his eyes looks off left field Now here's a man, don't give a damn Old Beer Can, he's a grease monkey 
And he can fix anything, plenty funk. He drives a 66 blood red customized Mustang convertible four wheel drive and that stang will climb anything. Now up in Montana when a winter wind blows, a man thoughts turn to shelter from the cold. He seeks comfort and insulation Gonna find him a big girl for the duration When it's twenty below Man looks for somewhere to go I -de 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 He's on the prod Lost his cowboy hat in her flank Stuffing her in that stain I -de 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 Rough as a cop, old beer can bomb. Take one. luck would have in the pattern all around. All she had was the wind knocked out. Bob tied her up, kept her drunk on brew, and she started to claim him in a day or two. Her name was Tallulah, and she was from anyone? No, Bozeman. So Tulula cooked the meals and catered to his wishes. Bob fixed car. So something that y'all may not know is that this all music show is one of the most difficult kinds of shows for the Western Folk Life Center to put on because the sound guy has to work like triple duty. It's not like there's a poet coming in in the middle where there's only one mic, right? They've got to set up all this. So I'd like to give y'all to give a big hand to Colin, who's doing yeoman's duty here. <laughs> Next up, we have the Saddle Cats. And this is one of the really cool things about the Western Folk Life Center, the National Cowboy Poetry Gathering. Each gathering, there are new groups and new poets that come that haven't been here before. How many of y'all were at the dance last night? Did y'all get to, yeah, enjoy the Saddle Cats? Well, they've been together for over a decade, but this is our first time here at uh, the National Cowboy Poetry Gathering. We're just thrilled to have them. They're the winners of the Will Rogers Cowboy Award for the Western Swing Band of the Year and for Album of the Year. Dress up in satin, you don't wear diamond rings, but I'm satisfied with you. You look just like an angel, but you haven't got wings. Still, I'm satisfied with you. I'd rather have you just the way that you are than change you for somebody new. Maybe I could better if I reach for a star, but I'm satisfied with you. Come on, Bobby! But you're sweet as you can be, and I'm satisfied. <laughs> We're going to 
take you out there on the western plain now. With a Harlem touch, he was raised on loco weed. He's what you call a swinging half breed, singing his cow cow boogie in the strangest way. Come to ya ya ya, come to ya ya With a Harlem touch, he was raised on local weed. He's what you call a swing half breed, singing his cow cow boogie in the strangest way. Come to ya ya ya, 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 come to ya ya ya. Nothing I could do. Lonely blue. Oh, one more time. Stop moaning, moan on the blues. Thank you, folks. Thanks so much. I was going to slow it down with a beautiful ballad. This is the greatest song ever written.
Thank you. Thank you, John, folks. Bobby Black. Bobby Black. Hey, let's bring a uh, special friend uh, and dear, dear friend of ours from over the years on stage. And uh, we're going to uh, promote her new album called uh, Rose Petal Pie. It's a really swinging affair, folks. It's the hippest record you'll hear this year. And here she is, Miss Denise Whitnow. Hi, what a thrill to sing with these guys. Wow, they're so good. That tune was written by the great David Wilkie and Pars Oz's Paul. Have a eating ice cream. The mule got sick, so they laid him on the beam. Stay all night, stay a little longer. Dance all night, dance a little longer. Pull up your coat, throw it in the corner. Don't see why don't stay a little longer. Biscuits, feed her cornbread. The girls around Big Creek bite out prone. They jump on a man like a dog on a bone. Stay all night, stay a little longer. Dance all night, dance a little longer. Pull off your coat. Thank you, Elko. We're the Saddle Cats. Bing Nathan, Gordon Clegg, Bobby Black, and Richard Chan. Thanks so much, folks. The Saddle Cats. <laughs>